Hello, Mrs Finder here. It's good to have you along at the start of a new week. So we're going to do a couple of really quick little starters today and then we're going to go on with our new set of money work. So the first two questions that we've got to do today are finding missing numbers. I thought I would um, do the finding missing numbers rather than just finding the answer. So we have to think a little bit. So if you know what you're doing, just pause the video as usual. If you're not sure, then stick around. And as soon as you think you get how to do it, just pause it then and do the rest of it. OK, so what we're looking at is 1.53 times something is 1530. OK, so let's let's start that by writing down our 1.53. OK, so. We're timesing it by something. Now, if we notice here, we've got one, five, and three. One, five, and three. So this has been multiplied by 10 or 100 or 1,000. Okay, so let's think. If we'd moved our digits one place, it would be 15.3. If we've moved our digits two places, it would be one there, five there, and three there. And if we've moved them three places, it's one, five, three, then we would need a zero in here. So we can see that we've had to move our digits one, two, three places. So that must mean that this number in here is a thousand. Okay. And then the next one, something times a hundred is 2.5. Hmm. So again, let's write down our 2.5. Now, something times 100 is 2.5. Okay, so actually, I'm just going to change where that 2.5 is and I'm going to change the color of it. So I'm going to put the 2.5 down here. Okay, and something times by 100. So something has moved to the left two places to give us. 2.5 okay because it's multiplying by 100 and we've got two zeros there okay so um the thing that would be multiplied by 10 to give us 2.5 would be if the digits were there wouldn't it and if we move back one further place we can see that now 0 0.025, if you times it by 10, you get 0 0.25, and times it by 100, you would get 2.5. So the answer in here is 0 0.025. Remember, we put the zeros in front when there isn't anything else there. Okay, so let's bash on with today's work then. We're looking at currencies and exchange rates. So First of all, what we're going to do today is look at which currency matches which country and then we're going to find them all on the map. OK, so we're going to start here now. I've, let me just get it where you can see it all. There we are. Right. So if you don't need any hints, don't look at any of this. <laughs> OK, if you know them, then you can fill them in. So if you want to, you can pause this just now and have a look at this and see which ones you know. OK, so all the answers are on the right hand side there. OK, so we're going to just start slotting them in. Now, it's up to you if you if you want to start with the currency, pick one and then pick the country or start with the country and pick the currency. Doesn't really matter. So let's do a nice easy one that we all should know. And we're going to pick France to start with. So look in here. Which one of these currencies, remember that currency is the name for the kind of money a country uses, which one of those is what they use in France? Well, I think we all know, don't we? Oops, Daisy. I think we all know that that would be the euro. So we'll tick that one off and put it beside France. Okay, next, let's pick another country. Um, let's see, uh, I know there are some of you who are from Poland and or have Polish relatives. So I wonder if you can remember 
which one of the currencies belongs to Poland. That's right, Zloty. Okay, now I think most of you probably know USA, don't you? So let's have a look. Oops, we've got US dollar here, an Australian dollar there, but it's obviously going to be the US one. And Australia are going to be Australian dollars. So if we put in the ones that we know, then it's going to be a bit easier, isn't it, to slot the rest of them in. Right, OK, here's euros. Which other country uses euros from this list? Let's go down. Let's look down our list until we find one that uses euros. Yeah, Italy. Go to that one. OK, now, what do we use? What's it called? I know it's pounds, but the currency is called sterling. All right, narrowing it down a bit now. So in India, do you know what they use? Look at them all. Think which one sounds Indian. Rupees in India. Okay. I think possibly you might know the Japan one is yen. Let's see which other ones we know. What about Rand? Do you know where that belongs? Rand belongs in South Africa. Switzerland uses Swiss francs. Israel uses shekels. Denmark uses krona. And Russia uses rubles okay so that's that if, if you look up foreign currencies online you will find that there are so so many different con um, countries and different currencies a lot of them are called dollars or pounds but they're not worth the same as for example american dollars or our british pounds okay it's worth having a look so what we're going to do now is we're going to Look at a map. And this is a map of the world. And I've written down all the countries underneath. And we're going to check and see if we can remember um, what the currencies are called. And we'll see if we can find them all. OK. So, first of all, UK. So, UK uses sterling. And can we find the UK on a map? Let's see. There we go. Right. So UK, we're going to call UK number one. And we'll put a one right in the middle of the UK there. All right. Next, France. France uses euros, remember? And we're going to put a number two in the middle of France. Number three. USA, United States of America. Do you know where they are? They're here. And remember, they use US dollars. Number four is Australia. Imagine this wrapped around an actual globe. What would be at the opposite side to us? It would be this. There we go. There's Australia. Italy. Right. Can we spot Italy? Italy's the one that's... A kind of funny boot shape. Can you see here? This is Italy. Okay, so we're going to call Italy five. Oops, Daisy. Okay, next, India. So we need to head east from where we live in Europe. And India is going to be number six. And it's there. Russia. Big, big country. We can see it there in pink. So that's going to be number seven. And can we remember what currencies all these use? Remember, Italy is euros. India is rupees. And Russia is rubles. 
Okay, can we spot Denmark? That's going to be number eight. Now, Denmark is quite a small country, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And Denmark is actually here. Okay, so we're going to put, oops, Stacey, we're going to put a number eight on Denmark. And can you remember what they use in Denmark? It's krona. Okay. Oops. So our next country is Israel, and we're going to call that number nine. Now, Israel is, if we look in North Africa here, and then find Egypt, and then go to the side of Egypt, it, this really, it's actually not a very big country. It's just tucked right in there. Okay. So that's number nine. Oops, keep doing that. Nine's in there. And remember, in Israel, you use shekels. Okay, right, Japan. Can you spot Japan on the map anywhere? Now, you can, if you can find the big country that's China, and if you go east of China, that's to the right, then you will see Japan. So Japan is going to be number 10. And remember, in Japan, they use yen. Okay, right, so the next country that we're going to look for is Poland. And we're kind of squeezing things in a little bit for Poland. Um, that's going to be number 11. And Poland, oops, Daisy. Poland is here. What number did I say? 11. Oops, I don't know why it does that big long line sometimes. So that's 11 there. Okay. Then, next one, South Africa. So, the continent of Africa is here. And South Africa, you would expect to find that in the south. So, that's exactly where it is. That's number 12 there. And Switzerland is our last country that we're going to find. And Switzerland is quite a small country. And it's surrounded by the countries of France and Italy and Germany and Austria. So if we zoom in, Switzerland is actually right there, that dark green one. Okay, so what number did I say we were putting that? That's going to be 13. So if we zoom back in, we're going to put our 13 right there. Okay, so that's actually all we're going to do today. And your practice questions are going to be to see if you can put the currencies on the world map. Okay, so you can come back to this to check if you like. And I will see you tomorrow.